having as much fun as we are because this is one of those all-time classics and uh, also pitches to the story of the Challenger Series. The older, more experienced former CT surfers get to do battle. Let's have a look at this. Frederico, also known as Kikash, just kicks it in the lip for the first turn. Interesting one in this one. You know, Frederico is sitting 10th, so he's pretty much in that window. He's on the line. Probably look at uh, climbing the ladder a little bit more as we see the young Brazilian. I mean, not so young Brazilian, but uh, on a tear. And he's been doing that kind of surfing throughout the whole event gigs, but sitting in 51st uh, currently on the Challenger Series. So we know he's won the event before. We know he loves Belita. And with surfing like that, if he can get to the finals, he's going to jump up those rankings. You know, for good reason. Just watch this bottom turn. Rawr, just like absolutely brutal in the first turn. And then still gets the second one. Well, on the paddle back out, Aleo Munez just looking for every opportunity, sifting through this swell that is moving into Belito. Quick little in and out for Frederico Marias. So perhaps a little error there as he hands the priority over to his opponent. Saki Peak here for Aleo Munez to climb into. Again, just searing turn tight. Arc smashes into that wave again a similar wave for his previous for a 517 we'll see how this one compares current backup score of a 3.5 yeah this guy's just so aggressive through the turns he builds up so much speed and that was a really late all the way to he was a championship tour surfer as far back as 2010 2011 so mixing it up with uh, a lot of fellow brazilians with names like ruani montero to Elvis and that. So that's how long Aleo Munez has been around. And here he is in 2023 into his 30s. And Aiden has spent a vast amount of time up there in those waters. So I think he'll be deadly. Well, let's have a look at the numbers. A 5-5 five, five on that last one is just Aleo Munez continues to just drill away at these pockets in the lineup. For some reason, Federico Marais, uh, again, just losing out on a priority there for a smaller score. Took this one straight off the bottom. Wham! Just throws the tail. Watch the second turn gigs. Just laid into it. Really dropping that. Strong surfing from Cade Matson into the semi-finals. Who will match up against him? It will be the winner of this quarter, number two. If you're just joining the broadcast, 16 to go. And finally, some surfing coming from Frederico Marias. And that is going to be a meaningful score. And perhaps the best one of the heat. Prior to that, the 5 9 3 4 heat leader, Aleo Munez. But here comes Frederico Maras. He left it a bit late as well. We're in the second half of the heat here now. Pretty much uh, just on that halfway mark, Kai. Waited for this wave, but uh, I think it's going to pay off for him because a really nice ball. Big, solid first hack off the top. Gets the second. Had to kind of uh, speed things up a little bit. We trust that you are enjoying the show with us. Gixelias and Kai Linda in for the call. And, well, the action continues here as Aleo Munez will just block out Frederico and try and find his way to the semi-finals in Belito. Let's the tail go himself, incomplete, but uh, a very good seven-pointer just before the break, and perhaps a momentum push now from Frederico, who holds the priority at 11 and a half to go. Nolan Raposa, of course, Carl Hauschmann, and Koali Voss still in the draw. Let's have a look at this. Number of turns for Aleo Munez, just under the priority now of his opponent. And uh, Focus trying to ditch a 5.5 second wave of the set emerging out of the Indian Ocean for Frederico. who will snap away, flat landing on that. Again, methodical but precise. And that is how you put a score together. Frederico's feeling it now as he <laughs> is on his way perhaps to the semi-finals. We'll watch it now. Doubled up really nicely as he got into it. And watch this first section. Big, boom, straight into the lip, airdrop out. So critical section. Throws it up again, went a little bit more flat there, but now works it down the line and gets another big closeout hit. It's warm, it's hot, there's bikinis everywhere, there's people playing beach bat, and they're also getting treated to some pretty world-class surfing. Well, Aleo Munez just utilizing his priority there. It will swing back to Frederico Marais. And, uh, well, as we mentioned, breaking away, Frederico goes, yeah, I'll let you have that one. As we're down to 90 seconds to go inside track, Section to hammer, tail high huck, incomplete. And now Frederico Maras will just sit out the back there. He's not going to take off on anything. Quarterfinal number two, now an official result this afternoon here in Belito. Frederico Maras, it will be in the semi finals on finals day. And Aleo Munez will finish equal fifth.